you've got to laugh at life. I mean, if you can't find humor in things, if you don't enjoy life, you know, you might as well just give up. On the one hand, I don't take things seriously and I'm lighthearted, but I, I do take my work seriously. I do try to be very professional and give things 100% and I work very hard. You know, the whole floral dress in the field of grass, it's tongue in cheek, you know? Don't take me too seriously. I don't take myself too seriously. A lot of the things that always inspire me is anything to do with nature. I consider myself a total nature freak. I enjoy those kinds of contradictions in life where you sort of, you've got an open field next to a prison, <laughs> next to a shopping centre. There's so much detail. I mean, you can just literally stop by a ditch on the road and find a whole universe of things to delight in. Little blades of grass and the way they catch the light or like a tiny, tiny flower. I grew up in the bush in Zimbabwe, barefoot and running around. It was at that age where TV was black and white, it came on at five o'clock, so you entertained yourself. And I think from a child, I just learned to find delight in the world around me, you know, climbing up a tree, playing by a stream. It feeds that part of myself, that feeling of innocence. That's what nature is for me. It takes me back to that child that didn't rides her bike. I used to put old leaves into my bike spokes so they would make cool noises as I was riding down. <laughs> that sounded like a motorbike. <laughs> Tell your children, you know, go do this, it's really cool. And they look at you like, mm mm, shame, mum. <laughs> you, you had it rough in your day. Normally, I like to do things that kind of look not sweet, but sort of at second glance, you realize it's a little bit edgier, there's a little bit of a darker element to it. It goes from the scope of things that are very natural and beautiful swallows, blades of grass right down to kind of a more on that tattoo vibe, a little bit more quirky. My father was an art teacher, but my mother was very creative. We lived in a small town in the middle of nowhere. If you wanted clothes, you made them. If you wanted toys, you made them. My mom made everything. She sewed all our clothing. She sewed matching outfits, the dolls. So I think there's a very strong influence of craft as well, this idea of making. And I enjoy making things. I enjoy things that are very tactile. I think it's also just playing around with things, taking out different papers, cutting out things, little quirky things that I've collected along the way. You know, it might be a feather I've picked up off the side of the road. It might be something I found in an antique store. It might be an old piece of fabric. So I think it's just all those elements, you know, when they juxtapose, a story starts to come out of that. <laughs> <laughs>